Hey guys, how are we doing today? Uh, last Friday of February, finally got to the weekend. I had a really long week. Got a bunch of cases sent to me. Got some improvements with the iPod Kit, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I am slowly, yet surely, starting to create a new channel. I haven't actually made it yet, but I got a few ideas. Uh, I do plan to spawn off into a comedy channel uh, with a few friends of mine. Don't get worried or anything like that. Uh, the iPod Kid is still going to be 100% only me. It'll still be definitely without a doubt my main priority because that's why I started going on YouTube and that's why you guys all started watching me in the first place. But that's just a few ideas that I've been having. So I've had a pretty long, busy week, have some new ideas flowing through my head. But anyway, let's start this application of you off right about now. Got a few new apps for you guys. Um, three out of the four are paid. Or three out of the four are free, I'm sorry about that. One of them called AirPhones, a uh, paid application in the App Store right now. Since I run a Windows PC, uh, you need to have a Mac at the moment. They will be later updating their servers to work on Windows. But what it is, is it's basically wireless uh, headphones that go through your iPod or iPhone that run off of your computer speakers. So kind of a little run through of the app. I will be reviewing it later in the future. But anyway, let's start this one off with Squares 2 Lite. This is a very famous, very popular uh, computer game. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. They have tweaked it a little bit in the Squares 2 version of it on the iPod and iPhone. Uh, very simple. Anyway, from the start menu, we have Play, Help, Setting, and News. You can go into Settings. Quite a few of them here. You can do your name, background music, sound effects, and volume. And you can go into Help. This basically just explains all the different shapes that you're going to be seeing and what they do. And then you can just simply go to Play. We are this tiny black square in the middle, and we move ourselves by dragging it. Your object is to gain anything by touching it that is black. Um, anything that is red is bad, and uh, anything that is black is good. Black squares will add up to be points, and slowly but surely, as you do gain more black squares, your square will become bigger, making it tougher to maneuver around through the multiple squares flying around you. But anyway, as you guys see, there's squares, and then there's also circles. A circle is more of a power-up and or a power-down. A black circle will result in maybe slowing down time, making your square smaller, making you invincible for a temporary amount of time. Let's get one now. Oh, that was terrible. I turned into a mini square there. I don't know if you guys could see. But anyway, as you guys saw right there, if I touch a red circle now, let's try and find a red circle. If I touch a red circle, ah, let's get this black one. So now I'm a mini square again. I just shrank down to my normal size. Get this red square. I'm a big square now. So there's different power ups and power downs. There's quite a few of them. Uh, you can be invincible. You can be slower. Time can be sped up. So quite a few different things you could have here. Now I'm an evil square, so everything around me is red. So quite a few different power-ups here, power-downs, all that stuff. So uh, let's lose. Go to the main menu. Can you play again, help, settings and news. I don't know if they do have a, a uh, high scores anywhere, though. I, haven't, I didn't even look for that or think about looking at that. Help, settings, news. Oh. Huh. I guess there's not. There's no high score version of the Square 2 Lite. Maybe there will be in the paid version. Anyway, go out and check that application out. Pretty fun, uh, common application. You guys might have been able to see it already on your computers. Called Squares 2 Lite, a free app from the App Store. Pretty fun one. Definitely fun to mess around with for a while. Next app that I have, it's just very simple Minesweeper. If you don't know what Minesweeper is, this is basically it. I'll show you a little bit of a quick run through of it. Uh, go to the menu, and what you have here is you have your board size. For the light version, you have two different sizes 8x8 and 16x16. Difficulty, you can set it up and down, uh, simple and medium. Timer, iPod status bar, which is this top bar at the top. So there we go, you can turn that on and off. Sound effects, instructions, and high scores. Uh, definitely aside from that, you can do a new game. So this is an 8x8 board, and what Minesweeper is, is just at the beginning, you have luck. So we're tapping anywhere. So now we have an idea. Every single number has a meaning. Uh, you do not want to hit the mines, obviously. Uh, number one will mean that there is one mine touching that block. Number two means there's two different mines touching that block. So just keep going around, hopefully getting lucky. Okay. Ah, this is getting really close, though. Dang, I just lost. New game. All right. So now this is much easier. What you can do is, since we have this corner, you know that this block right here is touching the one. So you can just drag and drop a flag. Or no, you can simply just hold it. My bad. You hold it. And now that we know that that flag is already touching, that's a mine right there. So this block cannot be a mine, nor can these. 
This one right here will be a mine. So it's very simple. It will go slow the first couple times you play it, but once you get the hang of it, definitely recommend keeping it. It is a free app from the App Store. It's a fun one, especially to mess around with, especially if you're new to the Minesweeper. You're not going to want to go out and pay and actually have to buy an application. If you don't know the uh, how to play Minesweeper right when you go from the get-go, definitely go out and check out this light version. If you fall in love with it, might be a keeper, might want to go buy a pay full page version of it. That's called Minds Free Light, a free app, free version of Minesweeper from the App Store. Uh, next one that I have is called Death Ball. This is a paid application from the App Store and it's kind of almost similar to a updated version, a new futuristic version of Pac-Man. Uh, so when you start from the menu, it doesn't explain anything, which can kind of... Yeah, that was pretty frustrating for me when I first started. If there is any way that you can explain or help, I don't see it on the screen. All I see is start and continue. Click start. And use the accelerometer to guide this glowing sphere to pick up these smaller glowing spheres. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you see your... I can't really tilt up that high because I'm trying to film it. At the bottom of the screen, you see your lives. Once you lose... Uh, you have four chances because once you have no lives left, you still get to play. So you have four times to die. Um, and in this first level, you're not seeing anything that you'd actually die from. But let's try and hurry this up so then you guys will actually be able to see that there are different obstacles and whatnot. There's power-ups, there's transporters, so you can transport from one side of the map to the other. There's little evil stuff that you can't touch, and if you do, that's how you lose a life. So, in a second, the uh, level should progress. And these red boxes, they will do a set path, and right there when I touch that yellow ball, when they turn blue, go for it. You can eat them, just like Pac-Man. It's very similar to Pac-Man. It's not trying to hide it. It even says it in the description and info. It's very similar to Pac-Man. And they did a pretty fantastic job with it. It's a fun application. Uh, kind of slow-paced slow gameplay, I think. So it's not quite as addicting as the classic versions of Pac-Man that I've played before. But it's a fun one to at least try for a while. There is a paid version of it. I'm not sure if there's a light version. I don't believe so. But you might want to go out and check it out if you're a huge, avid Pac-Man gamer, if you love the game, this will probably be something that might get your, uh, I don't know, grab your attention. If not, if you're just a simple gamer and you never really fell in love with Pac-Man, you might want to pass over this. But other than that, it's a pretty fun application, not too bad. That is called Death Ball. Last app that I have, this is one of the most classic games, everyone's seen this on the computer, it's called Free Copter. There's other copters from the App Store, and they are all paid. This is the first free one that has been released, and sadly, they did a pretty crummy job with it. Uh, the only reason that I'm sticking this in this review is because I've always wanted one of these, but I don't want to have to pay for it because I don't find myself playing it as much as I would want to. But it is a free app, so go out and check it out. You might like the controls. I'm not too big of a fan of them. Simply what you do is you just tap and the whole, see, it, it's very, very sensitive. Uh, on this free version, your copper just goes way too quick, I think. It's not that it's going too fast uh, horizontally, but I mean, it's just too sensitive to the touch, I think. But anyway, you're in the, uh, your object is you're this little helicopter, and by touching, uh, the longer that you hold down, the more gas you'll put into it, and the more you'll accelerate upwards towards the uh, ceiling. Uh, when you're not holding onto the iPod or the iPhone screen, then you're actually just going to go down and gravity will take effect. So your object is to not touch anything that's green. You can't, I'm doing terrible right now. You can't touch these bars, you cannot touch the ceiling, and you cannot touch the floors. Alright, so I'm doing awful. Anyway, in the right top corner you have your score currently, and then in the left top corner you have your high score overall. It does save your high score even if you turn the application off, which I do like about this app. Uh, my high score is 3400, which is not nothing to brag or it's not anything to brag about I don't think so I'm not trying to I think that's pretty crummy uh, high score I stink at this game I'm not gonna lie uh, the other thing that kind of bugs me is that aside from the sensitivity level being way too high as camera died <laughs> sorry guys uh, aside from the sensitivity being way too high I think that this little play again in dot 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 there's a little timer at the top that can be really annoying. There's constantly ads that pop up at the bottom of the screen, and yeah, that's fine because this is a free application. They gotta make money somehow. Right there, there's an ad. But this play again thing really just ticks me off because if you're trying to set a high score and you're in like focus, you wanna get that high score, you wanna beat yours. I don't want to wait five seconds. I want to go. I want to play. I don't know why there's a timer. There's no need for a timer. They're not making any money off that. They're making money off the ads. I don't know why there's a timer. It bugs me. So anyway, it's worth to go check out. If you guys haven't seen the computer game, I don't know where you've been. It's a pretty famous computer game. Very fun. There is a paid version of a copter in the App Store, and I have seen it and played it. It is much 
better than free copter. It is a lot better application, much better structure, but if you're looking for a free one, you don't want to have to cough up a buck for it, definitely go out and check out free copter, a free app from the App Store. That's what I have for you guys today. Those are the four that I have. Let's talk about a giveaway. I have 15 promo codes to applications. These three down here, Trapped Undead, Inosha, and Crazy Hot Dog. I have five promo codes for each of those applications. How am I going to be giving away? I'm not sure yet, but I do want you guys to be aware that in the next, uh, probably the next video or so, I will be releasing information on how you guys can possibly win a copy of one of those three applications. So stay tuned for that. That'll be in one of the next future videos soon to come. That's what I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't think I'm stopping application reviews. A lot of people have been afraid of it. I'm not going anywhere with those. Those are my favorite things to do on YouTube. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. See ya.